Take a look around you. Matter is everywhere. But what if I told you that antimatter exists and that it can be used as fuel to traverse space near the speed of light? Antimatter is the oppositely charged equivalent of a matter particle with the same mass. For example, a hydrogen atom is made of a positively charged proton and a negatively charged electron. An anti-hydrogen atom is made from a negatively charged antiproton and a positively charged positron. But how can antimatter be made? Well, one way is to accelerate protons until they hit a wall of uranium and release gamma ray energy to split the proton into up and down quarks and antiquarks. The energy is then converted into mass via the famous equation E is equal to mc squared. Both particles and antiparticles are made to conserve of the baryon number, a quantum property assigned to maintain symmetry. These elementary particles combine to form hadrons, which are protons and antiprotons. But why can't we find antimatter anywhere? Well, whenever matter meets antimatter, it annihilates, vanishes, and cancels out the charges. Like when your friend is sad and you are happy. After you talk, you both feel normal again. Annihilation also releases a lot of gamma ray energy, which we can use to power rockets. 4.5 tons of antimatter can power a spaceship to Alpha Centauri at 95% the speed of light in just six years. This is a huge time crunch compared to the current 30,000 year travel times. But how can antimatter be stored to be used? First, a vacuum must be established to remove all air. Then, electric fields must be placed to make sure that the antimatter particles stay suspended. But how? Let's say I'm feeling sad, like a negatively charged particle. I would not want to do any activity that makes me feel even more upset. Instead, I'd seek out positively attracting places, like the Ferris wheel. Replace me with a charged antiparticle and electric fields of the same charges. The particle is trapped. These canisters release energy through annihilation, providing thrust to propel the rocket upwards. So, would you want to venture into the stars?